Hi again, everybody. So my name is Senza Peñami Storms. I'm here to represent Mundero and Company. Mundero and Company is a community dance group in South Philadelphia, and we work to promote um, and preserve the traditional Indonesian culture, including dance, food, and fashion. And also, we host a lot of meaningful conversations, and we provide safe space for anybody in Philadelphia, not just the Indonesian community. So um, I'm going to be your host today, along uh, with the help of Luthi and Greg. Aspects. So uh, dancers and uh, culture and emotions and everything is is a very very good movie great movie I, I mean and and also I saw that uh, that movie won eight uh, Piala Chitra right so it's beautiful it is um, high accomplishments uh, Indonesian movie and and also also won the, the festival desk in in ninth continents ninth. Anyway, America Bersatu always support Indonesians culture, and uh, we here we even we are in U.S. United States, but we try to promote Indonesia um, culture or Indonesians, uh, uh, not only budaya but uh, Indonesian people that in in United States. So we hope that we can continue to uh, have uh, collaborations, and and we can we can grow together. <laughs> we can and and we always welcome if you have idea or uh, any um, uh, plan to, or for performance in the United States. So we would like to to provide help and support. Again, thank you so much, and congratulations for this beautiful movie. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Mira, if you would um, unmute yourself. Hi, Hi everyone. Um, nama saya Mira Yusuf. Uh, first off, terima kasih Modero Company and America Bersatu atas undangannya. Um, should I speak Indonesian or English? I think English, just because we have others who don't understand Indonesian. So, my, my name is Mira Yusuf. Um, First off, I wanted to say thank you to um, Modero Company and America Bersatu to invite um, our group, Satu Pelangi. Uh, Satu Pelangi is Indonesian LGBTQ community in New York that was found in 2008. And um, the co-founder is uh, Mas Lutfi Majid. And um, I have been helping Lutfi for the past uh, probably eight years. Um, and it's been a, a grateful uh, experience and uh, an enjoyable uh, moment with him. So um, I'm very honored that he invited me to this event. So I just wanted to say thank you. I'm so grateful. And I have had the privilege to learn the dance with Mas Rianto um, for the past three days. And um, he kind of like teach uh, us the new movement and he share, you know, um, his inspiring story. And I learn and gain new skill and new experience. Uh, and I'm so very grateful, thank you. Um, and I, I actually, I just uh, finished the movie with my boyfriend and it's, uh, it's very touching, and I just wanted to congratulate. Kalau nggak salah namanya maaf, Pak Gary Nugroho, and I don't know the sutradaranya. Maaf. Saya jarang virtual video jadi begini. Maaf ya. I'm sorry. Uh, I guess that's all I have to say. I I really appreciate your invite um, to include include satu pelangi. Um, in this event, and we hope we can always work together in the future. Thank you, Mira, Greg. So again, um, thank you for coming. And I just want to remind everybody: um, this discussion is um, public, so we are off, um, live on Facebook on Mojero and Company page, and then um, this is also recorded. So just uh, be mindful if you don't like to discuss anything that. Um, you don't feel comfortable with, just be mindful of that. And then we will share this recording also on um, YouTube conversation because we have 
fabulous, um, three amazing and experienced guests tonight. So I'm going to start welcoming our guests. We're gonna say hi real quick. So you know that they're real. They're not, <laughs> they're not just like a photo, right? So first I want to say hi to the inspiration of the film, uh, Mas Rianto. Hello everybody, everyone. Uh, selamat pagi, kalau di sini ya. Yeah. Uh, Senang sekali bisa berjumpa lewat uh, uh, virtual seperti ini. Semoga film ini tadi juga bisa menginspirasi banyak orang di seluruh dunia. Jadi terima kasih untuk Modero, Satu Pelangi, dan Amerika Bersatu untuk mengorganize acara ini. Dan khususnya juga untuk uh, Mas Garin dan Mas Dede Utomo yang uh, sudah memberikan banyak sekali uh, inspirasi tentang uh, film ini juga. Terima kasih sekali Mas Garin Nugroho. Uh, let's go to uh, Mas Garin. Ya, yeah, selamat pagi ya. Uh, untuk Indonesia, uh, good afternoon atau good night untuk uh, Amerika and everybody. Uh, uh, saya senang sekali uh, bisa bertemu kali ini dengan tema yang sangat menarik ya tentang gender. It is one of the wonderful issue about gender in Indonesia and it is it is also wonderful discussion in this morning uh, in Indonesia or afternoon in America. Terima kasih semua untuk Satu Pelangi, Satu Amerika, dan Modero. Thank you, Mas Garin. Let's go ahead and say hi to uh, Mas Dede Utomo. To uh, Amerika Bersatu, Modero, and uh, Satu Pelangi uh, for uh, organizing this event. Um, which is really exciting. Um, uh, Memories of My Body happens to be one of my favorite films, uh, so I'm, I'm actually quite honored uh, to talk about uh, gender diversity and Indonesian culture here. So let's talk about it. So um, we're going to get started with the questions. Atau menyeleksi tubuh-tubuh aktor pun pasti dia akan sangat jeli sekali. Nah, uh, itu untuk bagaimana uh, uh, karya medium ini bisa bisa lebih bulat dalam suatu uh, balutan karya baik dari tradisi maupun kontemporer uh, dari filosofi-filosofi yang Mas Jatin uh, berikan tentang ketubuhannya desa uh, kolaborasi seperti ini sangat dibutuhkan sekali bagi uh, saya sebagai seorang penari ataupun koreografer dan uh, dalam dalam perjalanan ini Ternyata Mas Garin sudah punya banyak ide untuk membuat sebuah screen uh, perjalanan tubuh uh, yang terinspirasi dari saya baik tubuh 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 kesenian yang memang historisnya sangat panjang misalnya seperti tubuh lengger yang saya miliki tentang gender yang banyak problematika dalam uh, kehidupan kemudian juga uh, warok yang ada di uh, Jawa Timur. Uh, dengan unsur maskulin dengan maskulin yang harus harus menyatu menjadi satu itu kepercayaan yang sudah turun temurun dan ada sejak sejak Indonesia juga sudah ada negara kita sudah ada terus dengan fenomena yang sekarang itu sudah sangat sangat apa ya bertentangan kadang-kadang pemikiran dari generasi sekarang kemudian ada juga sentuhan dari Makassar bisu uh, yang mana dalam adegan film itu juga ada perang sarung ya itu di situ juga uh, pokoknya dalam film ini itu merupakan uh, sebuah sebuah apa ya peristiwa trauma tentang simbol-simbol seperti itu dan saya sangat cocok sekali dengan uh, sebuah simbol yang memang membuat banyak uh, imajinasi ruang-ruang bagi penonton untuk menikmatinya atau penonton untuk berimajinasi lebih luas lagi tanpa batas seperti itu. Nah, sampai sampai hari ini pun saya selalu intens dengan Mas Garin untuk uh, setelah karya medium akan ada uh, karya berikutnya lagi. Uh, saya tetap bagaimana untuk terus intens dalam proses pembuatan karya kolaborasi seperti ini dan merupakan uh, satu tim kecil yang memang uh, harus kuat gitu. Dari elemen-elemen misalnya dari elemen ketubuhan, penari, terus musik, terus dramaturg seperti Mas Garin, terus ada skenografi, 
seperti itu. Satu tim kecil ini bisa uh, apa ya menyuarakan informasi di seluruh dunia. Keinginannya seperti itu dalam kolaborasi kita. Oke, okay. in Indonesian culture, uh, as we saw from the movie, uh, there is a kind of like a masculine, feminine, or like a, mm -hmm. a third gender or other genders. So, uh, can you explain to us uh, mm -hmm. another culture beside in Java or like mm -hmm. uh, the whole country in Indonesia as a gen in general? Uh, so, so this movie shows, of course, you know, uh, issues of the body, as Mas Dianto said, but uh, particularly, this is one area uh, of culture, which is act, uh, performing arts or dance, where um, in many cultures, besides Java, maybe besides Javanese culture, there is a custom of either crossing gender, so I mean, Uh, in many of the uh, uh, Wayang performances, I mean Wayang, Wayang Wong or, or dance performances, um, Arjuna, for example, it's interesting uh, that uh, the name of the uh, character in the movie is, is also Juno. Arjuna often is danced by a woman or a very feminine uh, young man or boy. Uh, it's 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 almost uh, I mean in Java at least and in Bali, uh, so that's just one. I mean there are many uh, uh, customs like that. Uh, I think um, and, and you know I mean we uh, Mas Mas uh, Mas Yanto mentioned uh, and also Mas Gar in uh, Sulawesi Selatan, South Sulawesi, the Bugis culture. Um, if Uh, many people have forgotten about this, or uh, you know, uh, don't 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 know anymore. That that in Bugis culture there are five genders, and it's it's in the in the epic of the Bugis people, La like Galigo. Mm -hmm. So when you know when the first two humans were descended to Earth, they were accompanied by 28 bisu. Uh, these are like sacred. Uh, spiritual figures, and they were supposed to help these two first humans, and the is from four genders. It was mentioned in La Galigo. That's just one. Even in Aceh, of course, the Achenese will not recognize this anymore. If you read the old, uh, the, the, uh, the classical Aceh uh, manuscripts, nobody has dared to do this. Uh, but we know that in the in, in those there are actually relations between men. Oh, you know, uh, these days in Macha they will be whipped. See how Indonesia has changed. I often say that Indonesia has forgotten its roots. Yeah, I mean myself when I started the um, uh, LGBTQ movement in, in the early 80s, I did these things. I, I vaguely knew about Ludruk in East Java because I, know I grew up with it. But then, as I read the anthropological literature, then I discovered that you know, gender, there's not only two genders. So I, and what is interesting is that now, if you study gender studies, anywhere in the world, unless it's taught by people who are conservative, gender, you don't even count gender. People talk about non-binary. In, 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 in current theory. So what's happened is that Indonesian culture, when it goes into modernity, unfortunately, it aped the West at its worst. The West has actually woken up to non-binary genders, you know, pan-gender, agender, whatever, including in the law. And in Indonesia, we are actually becoming the, the, the old Westerners. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's, it's ironic, um, and unfortunately our politicians either don't want to know, don't want to read, or don't want to watch movies like Memories of My Body, or don't dare to be different. Also religious leaders. Because if you look at, it, at, at uh, you know, I mean, I mentioned Aceh, but if you look at the history of Islam, Islamic culture, there were, uh, you know, non-binary, gender expressions and, and things like that. And that was accepted. So that's, that's, that's my two cents worth. <laughs> okay.
Thank you, Master. Um, I can uh, give you back to Sinta. Mas Putu, silakan. Sure. Hi, everyone. Terima kasih semuanya. Uh, sorry if my Indonesian is uh, sangat buruk. Ini udah udah besar di Amerika. So. <laughs> I'm doing my best to uphold my traditions while being progressive. Um, but uh, pertanyaan ini untuk uh, Pak Dede, Mas Rianto, uh, Pak Garen. Um, I'm I'm a an ethnomusicology student in the U.S. and I'm studying um, uh, doing my doctorate in um, music, but also looking at the gender ramifications through sound, specifically, and more specifically in the in Balinese arts, as that's what I grew up in. And there's a lot of um, gender discrepancies and really interesting things about gender in Balinese arts, right? But also, of course, in Javanese. So my, my question here is actually about the violence in, in the film. And I, I saw this film, which is a great film. I'm really impressed with it. Um, but the, the, the violence that was in the film, that is a historical kind of violence, right? that is a marker of advocacy for these kinds of different gender roles. So I was wondering if you could speak to that, um, or what that means to the performers and what that might mean for a, an actor. Uh, thank you for the question. Yeah. If you saw on the film, uh, relation with the violin, mm -hmm. because uh, the violin and the body I think the important issue of the film is about trauma and body. Yeah. And one of the biggest trauma in Indonesia in political issue is about G30 SPKI in 1965. It is why this issue is come to this film. But if you saw this film, and they have the uh, four big uh, sequence or structure. One is everyday life or the personal body. When uh, Juno is still uh, at the village when she is still children. And then the second is social trauma and body. The third is more political trauma and body. For example, when he uh, had the relationship with the head of the district, for example, in the film. Mm -hmm. And also the last one is the body trauma and aesthetic. It's more related with the Langer and also the rail. And this four structure or four issue in this film always related with violence. Mm. Why? Because I think this is the biggest issue in Indonesia. Uh, if we discuss always in the everyday life, you can see so many things related with the violence, symbolic violence or uh, uh, concrete violence. For, uh, that's why if you saw the structure of this film, every square starts with everyday life mm. and that happens something. And the last one is the violin. And then song. A memory of song like that. This is the structure. Always everyday life, then uh, something happened with the body of the character. And then the last one is the violin. This is that we... I will be say, I will be say, don't. Uh, I will be say that the violence in Indonesia, I think, is one of the biggest issue. It is why I want to put in this film, for example, like the Kuchumbutu Pinda, five uh, districts yes, like Bogor, uh, Pontiana, mm -hmm. uh, several uh, Cirebon, five districts is banned in this film. It is also a violence, yeah. more symbolic violence, for example. You know. Even when I screening this film in Semarang, the FPI from Pembela Islam with 50% come and say the screening must be stopped. And then I say, no, I cannot stop this, this film because this film has been past the censorship. Yeah. It means I had follow the law in Indonesia. If I follow uh, the FPI, 
stop this film, I insulting the law of Indonesia. I insulting, I say. And we debate and they ask so many people and then I make a SMS, WhatsApp to the head of the district Semarang. I say, if the police not come here with this, we will be fighting. I am okay, but the image of Semarang will be worse, you know. I just say like that. And after that 15 minutes, the police come with the, and then they stop the FPI, for example. I think the violence in this film represent how the gender, masculine, feminine, is always related with what you call the character of violence to make the mass judgments to this issue. And mm -hmm. I want to say no with this film. And that is why always in every second, every sequence, the ending is the violence itself. Jadi akhirnya selalu ada kekerasannya. Jadi filmnya akan dimulai peristiwa hidup sehari-hari, lalu ada suatu peristiwa terjadi pada tokohnya, endingnya, lalu kemudian ada kekerasan. Terus seluruh film ini. Baik itu kekerasan personal di awal film, kemudian ada kekerasan sosial, ada kekerasan politik, dan kekerasan pada bentuk-bentuk estetika seni. Regarding the question, this one is uh, probably for or Mas Gary Nugroho, regarding the politics of the censorship process. Uh, bagaimana film ini lulus censor? How, how, how did this movie pass the censorship in Indonesia? Ya, yeah, yang penting menurut saya setelah uh, reformasi, after the reformation, uh, you can see in the history of cinema in Indonesia, we have about 10 until 15 films about the LGBT. Even some director focus in LGBT issue. It's like Andri Chung, Nyadinata, and extra. And so many genre related with the issue of LGBT. Superhero, LGBT, things like Madame X, for example. Yeah? And also, of course, uh, drama, comedy. Jadi, after the reformation, uh, film with the issue LGBT is developed. Uh, very strong and some director focus in that issue and the sensor is more open with that kind of issue different with uh, before the reformation the dilemma is now not the censorship of the politic censorship the term of politics is more censor from the society especially from the radical uh, religion this is the biggest problem in indonesia the another problem because uh, in Indonesia we have the direct election, direct election before reformation in direct election. Direct election, it means every single food is important. If you want to become part of the politician, the dilemma, the Muslim or uh, Islam is about 70 until 80 percent of the population. And majority politician try to compromise with the Muslim, with the issue of LGBT, to make the sympathy and to make the, what you call, to get the voice from the Muslim if they have tried to make become a candidate in, in every places in Indonesia, you know. And then every, if, and then you can see the impact of this kind way of thinking that in everyday life, Many uh, the radical religion uh, stop the performance. Yeah, kan? Even the gamelan, for example, they say gamelan and wayang is uh, a kafir. Even the history of in Indonesia, the gamelan and wayang is the biggest medium for Islam enter in Indonesian history. In this two until three uh, decades. Hindu is very strong in Indonesia. And Islam is very difficult to come to Indonesia. And they use the gamelan and wayang to develop the issue, to, to the, develop the value of Islam. And they can uh, enter with the peace, peace way to Indonesia with this kind of art, wayang and gamelan. But now, many people, some people in radical perspective say that the wayang and gamelan is kafir. Even they can, we cannot bring wayang and gamelan in Moscow. 
But even if you saw in Yogyakarta, this is a special rescue that the gamelan is there because it's the code on the first history Islam come to Indonesia. It means that uh, I want to say that now uh, if we try to discuss about the perspective of censor, the dilemma is the censor from the society, from the radical religion, and because the direct election and the situation, social and political now, majority, the politician didn't want to make uh, law enforcement in everyday life with strong and commitment because they try to develop or try to develop the sympathy, apa ya, supaya mendapat suara, supaya dapat suara atau voices from the Islam uh, population. Probably this is for um, Mas, De, Mas Dede or uh, Mas Rianto. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious whether the Warok and Langer mm -hmm. relationship is still commonplace or acceptable, and how is it received by the religious leaders in the increasingly hostile mm -hmm. political environment against LGBT in Indonesia? Mas Langer, Mas Rianto. Tapi saya saya jawab tak agama dan saya okay. jawab sekarang. Silakan. Uh, sebetulnya film ini sendiri contoh dari suatu usaha untuk mengingatkan Indonesia akan masa lampaunya yang kaya. Dan ini kan budaya nenek moyang kita gitu loh sebetulnya. Nah, ya, saya kira uh, Mas Yanto ada teman saya Mas Andi di banyak lagi itu masih berusaha me menghidupkan lihara. Uh, kalau Mas Yanto lengger ya, terus kalau teman saya Mas Andi itu uh, jalur bagian dari reok yang yang naik kuda lumping itu uh, kebanyakan sudah ditarikan oleh uh, anak perempuan atau perempuan, tapi uh, Mas Andi itu mencoba untuk mengembalikan laki-laki ke dalam. Jadi usaha-usahanya ada terus. Uh, sebetulnya uh, kalau saya boleh bicarakan sedikit mengenai organisasi LGBTQ. Banyak dari kami memang menghidupkan lagi ini, tapi kalau kalau saya memang saya tidak bisa menari, saya tidak bisa bikin film, ya saya ngomong di, di, di kuliah-kuliah, gitu ya. mengingatkan orang bahwa, eh hey, kita dulu seperti ini, gitu. atau kalau paling nggak kalau sastra ya, saya kira saya persilahkan teman-teman uh, di sini untuk uh, mencoba uh, membaca serat cendini, sudah ada bahasa Inggrisnya macam-macam ya, hmm. cendini itu adegannya keren gitu kalau buat saya loh ya. Tapi memang buat orang yang konservatif yang sedikit-sedikit tak, uh, takut-takut sama yang di luar pakem ya memang anu ya ada 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 adegan bupati yang pertama dia mena, uh, dia tertarik pada penari uh, keliling yang feminin lalu tertarik pada penari laki-laki yang disuruh dandan dulu disuruh dandan dulu lalu Pak Bupati yang menarik, kamu kok kayaknya menikmati ya kalau saya uh, penetrasi ya. Coba saya mau nyoba. Nah, sampai gitu-gitu. Jadi ini ini di sastra kita abad 18 yang disuruh suruh tulis oleh pangeran-pangeran Mataram, oleh seorang pangeran Mataram sebetulnya yang kemudian menjadi uh, tapi uh, silakan dia baca sendiri gitu ya. Soal agama begini. Uh, kita memang banyak di media yang ramai itu mereka yang anti Mas Dede saya boleh bahasa Inggris nggak? Mas Dede, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, Everybody can understand, ya. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So basically, what I said before was that there are there are people like Mas Dianto, uh, somebody else, and other people who try to revive or uh, maintain the uh, these traditions of non-binary gender expressions in uh, the performing arts. And actually, this movie is one big example of, of, of that you know uh, so that's what I said uh, earlier now one more one more thing about about uh, religious leaders I choose well actually by default the the religious leaders who are willing to sit down with people like me I'm openly gay by the way so uh, <laughs> um, are usually humanists usually uh, inclusive and they believe that at the end of the day, this I, I like this. This is from Hadith, you know, from the from the Hadith of Islam. Listen to your heart for your fatwa. I mean, if you want the reference, I, I can ask uh, my 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 uh, my source. 
for the hadith for that. So you listen to your heart. God is in your heart, not in the religious leaders. They're just humans. And actually, according to my uh, ally religious leaders, both um, uh, Muslim and Christian, I'll, I'll finish up with this. Humans have no business deciding what is right and what is wrong. That is the privilege of God. So actually, these, these religious leaders are playing God. One day, I mean, if you know, at the, at the, at the, at the judgment day, they will have to be responsible. I'll stop there. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, actually, in the Langer dance uh, performance or the Langer dance uh, art, the Banyumas community, they have a big uh, community of the art. And uh, the, the main is the Langer. And that is also already white by Chantini on the 15th, 16th century. And uh, this is when the uh, Langer dance is the male doing a, uh, in, the, in the body, the concept is uh, Nyawiji. We call Nyawiji. Nyawiji in, in English is, uh, in, in, this is Japanese language, but in English is a uh, body inside the body. So it's between the one body in the uh, uh, masculine and feminine. And then in the warok self is a uh, masculine and masculine. So also is Nyawiji between the, the two power to uh, continue for the uh, apa ya, uh, spirit. Kekuatannya supaya bertahan lama. Ya, seperti itu. Jadi dalam lengger, in the lengger dance is Nyawiji, we call body inside body. It's, it's never think about the gender uh, perspective because uh, the first lengger is uh, actually, the male doing uh, dancing just like uh, normal people doing with the music and for the fertility. Uh, and then, uh, for now, in, in community uh, in Banyumas, it's, it's less uh, leng male langer dancer. It's mostly it's a female because the period from the male to do it uh, until the female, the changing when they have a colonial uh, in Indonesia, especially also in Banyumas, so it's, they change the, the player uh, between, uh, from the man to the woman. And, but also in, in Warok, uh, they, uh, what I know is, uh, uh, for now, it's just for the performance, but for the daily uh, ritual, is, uh, is also is less because the community of the society thinking about uh, uh, what's we call uh, apa ya tidak wajar tidak wajar is apa ya yeah is tidak wajar and then uh, ini untuk masa sekarang memang uh, sudah sangat berubah sekali untuk uh, fungsinya atau fungsinya sangat sudah sangat berubah jadi ya pengetahuan saya tentang uh, lengger dan Warok pada masa dulu dan sekarang fungsinya sudah sangat berbeda sekali karena memang uh, sosialnya juga selalu berkembang seperti itu. Tapi uh, saya mencoba, I'm trying to uh, make a regeneration of the Langer dancer because uh, it's already my master is already passed away two years ago as a, the last generation of the Langer dance. So this is my responsibility to. Uh, uh, like a regeneration in the Banyuma society for the Langer. Uh, Philadelphia, and then I also uh, put together with a question from Putu. So, Masrianto, how long do you learn to dance? And then, um, why, why did you like Langer, Langer dance? Um, and, and then, so when, when did you finally when did you move out from Indonesia to out other country? And then is it straight right to Japan or to different country first? <laughs> okay. Uh, another one is, do you use different pronouns than he, him, his? My, my story of the, my body, when I was a baby, two years, uh, two months, uh, uh, when I uh, was a baby in two months, my mom 
bring me to the uh, Langer performance. And then uh, because I have a blue mark in my forehead here, and then my mom is just thinking like, uh, what is if the in Java in Java culture belief they're thinking, uh, uh, what is if my future uh, fortune will take from Betara Kala atau uh, apa rezekinya akan dimakan Betara Kala. Jadi uh, ibu saya, my mother, uh, wore it and then bring me to the Langer performance in the neighboring uh, house and then uh, to giving blessing and then put the foundation and then also give, giving me the mantra that was i was a child when i'm uh, in uh, university i asked to my mom mom why i'm uh, becoming a dancer and then my mom said yeah because when you was a baby i bring you to the langer performance for the blessing because you have blue marks here and then uh, our family is not from the artist. And when I was uh, pregnant, my mom said, when I was pregnant, uh, uh, I'm always watching the TV, this black and white the TV in the neighbor, uh, because we don't have a TV in my home. Uh, my mom just going to the neighbor to watch the TV and then always watching the Didi Nini Tawo. So he just, uh, she just thinking and feeling like, my, maybe my I, I want my my baby becoming like that person as the inspiration. So that's why the, when I'm uh, uh, in university, I act like that, and then I just thinking like, oh, that's why my uh, I'm becoming a dancer. The dance is choose my body. It's not me choose the dance. That's what I'm. Uh, what is in my perspective. Uh, then when I was a child and always dancing, even the, the neighbor have uh, playing the radio of Wayang every morning when I'm going to school. And then I'm stopped in the front of the house and then just dancing and then waiting my father from the market uh, with a bed sack to giving the money. If my father not giving the money and then I just crying with the dancing. That is almost every day I'm doing. So my neighbor is always remember the, this, uh, uh, situation so and grow up and then I'm studying in uh, high school of the performing art all the boys is going to the uh, uh, high school of the mechanic machine but only me is going to the uh, dance uh, high school <laughs> dance class and then uh, when I'm uh, finished my dance only one male only me as a dancer in that area and then I'm going to the university and then I'm dancing more the block of the Langer. But when I was in high school, also I continued to the uh, performance uh, to make a group, uh, one, one village to another village to do barang. We call them barang. That is the syarat untuk menjadi seorang penari Langer. But I'm, uh, saya sadar, I'm, uh, I believe I'm a, the, the dancer from the, the body of the Langer dance. I just continue uh, this story of the why I'm mean, becoming a dancer, and then uh, I'm uh, uh, meet with uh, my ex girlfriend in high school. Now becoming <coughs> my, my my wife is a Japanese uh, girl in uh, university, and then the first country what I going is is Japan because uh, she bring me to. Uh, her parents to introduce and then I'm giving workshop also in several uh, studio in Tokyo about the Langer dance when she bring me to the Japan so uh, I'm uh, built uh, the company of the traditional dance in in Japan in 2016 uh, in 2006 sorry in 2006 and then uh, what is else the question oh, uh, the uh, last Mas, uh, sorry ya Greg, um, I just want to mention this, uh, Lauren's uh, gender pronoun is actually they. Uh, uh, or, uh, yes, yes. I want to make sure. Uh, so we want to respect everybody's gender pronoun. So pertanyaannya Lauren to Mas Rianto, what is your gender pronoun? Uh, I'm 
because I am a Langer dancer, my child is a Nyawiji, so I am never thinking about my gender. Mm. And because it's in my dance, it's always, uh, it's always uh, like an on and off in my body. Uh, it's a feminine and masculine in the in the in the piece of my body. So if I'm thinking about myself as a man, it's not fair for myself. Or if I'm feeling, uh, if I uh, make a coat of my body as a female or as a male, this is not fair for myself. So I'm just as a human, as a, as I just like a body, body to continue a life in the in the daily life for the activity because the what I do is for ibadah. My body is for ibadah. Ibadah apa ya? <laughs> ibadah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you so much for this discussions. And Anu, uh, so she had, she studied, uh, she had studied uh, dance at uh, IC Yogyakarta. Okay. And right now, uh, she is currently writing her thesis, thesis for her studies in Germany. So the topic about her thesis is how gender binarism has been constructed and deconstructed within two Japanese dances, which is a Japanese court dance and jatilan. Mm. So I would like to ask, it seems like Japanese court dance generally moves within the gender binary. If there is a transgressions, it mostly stays within the binary, female, or male spectrum, such as a cross-dressing. Mm -hmm. While in rural art form like Jatilan, this binary seems to sometimes dissolve completely. So the question is, do you agree? And if yes, uh, why? Thank you. Silakan, Mas Yeah, uh, for, for contemporary court dance, and Mas, Mas Vrianto probably knows more about that, but that, as an outsider looking at, you know, uh, court dance now, yes, it is binary. But that's because the courts have been touched by modern modernity. They also have forgotten uh, the, you know, the legacy of the ancestors. One example from something that is closer to my field, the manuscripts of Surakarta and Yogyakarta are never read by the court people. Who reads them? Philologists. And if you actually read those court, like the, the Chandini, you will see that it's 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 not binary. So so as the, you know, with all due respect, the princes and princesses of Surakarta, Yogyakarta, they have become modern people. They're not. I mean, you know, uh, I don't think they know actually about these things unless they are. You know, they study. Uh, gender studies <laughs> that's the only place where these things are, are now but if, if you if you look at uh pictures from the 19th century of the court dances in Yogyakarta, there is something i think it's from paisefas you know the the famous photographer these are boys that actually dance the feminine role Partly because girls are not supposed to be in public. I know it's a bit sexist for you know, if, if you look at it, but so uh, there's 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 history of non-binarism, even in court dances before. I mean, if you if you look at Santini, how you know uh, I, I like uh, Maciento's uh, term of barang, you know the, the itinerant uh, dancers. Um, they were also like fluid, you know, like like. Uh, what Masianta was saying. So this this fluidity, before the West actually came up with like queer and fluid and these things, were already part of life. Uh, one of my uh, mentors in Islam said, you know, you don't talk about it. I mean, if if you are Indonesian, do you always talk about I eat rice? I eat rice. Of course, you eat rice. You don't have to write about it. Yeah, so it's it's. I think that it's 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 actually a national problem and a probably a, a global problem. We forgot our past. We forget our past. So I don't know. I mean, I think uh, Anu. I think is is your name. 
what you're writing is, is very important. I mean, it will be read by more people, hopefully. And people like Masgarin will make movies out of that. <laughs> because honestly, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm not, um, a movie is watched more than a dissertation. Dissertation, 300 people read it. A movie, you've got thousands, probably even millions sometimes, if you, if you make it to the, uh, to the, you know, to the, to the big screen. Thank you. I, I, uh, yes, please. In relation with the question about the boundaries and history done in Palace, I, mm -hmm. I think uh, it's better we can read again some reference in the old days that in the, some period, majority, for example, in Wayang Orang, for example, majority, the dancer is a man and women cannot dance in front of the public with the Wayang Orang. And it has become so culture when the modernity come to the palace and they, the, some of the people ask that the woman must be, the woman dancer is played by the woman, for example. It is a so culture at the time. And this period, uh, you can see in the reference of the history about gender uh, relation with the history done in palace. And even when uh, six months ago, for example, I came to to Padang, Padang in Minang. Yeah, Padang is more Orthodox uh, Islam in that in that area, and they ban my film. And we discuss in the Nanjumbang community. Nanjumbang is the one of the best uh, what you call dance community, and then they criticize me about the film Memories of My Body. And then I asked to some old people to develop the reference again in the roots of Minang dance, that the many uh, type of dance, men uh, dance as a woman in the woman dance lecture. And several people say, yes, I remember. One of the old people say, yes, Maskarin, I remember at that time I am play as a, a, a woman in the, on stage. Even my wife become uh, jealous because <laughs> they think that I am falling in love with the man dancer, <laughs> real man dancer, uh, real, like that. This, this is the sample that uh, the roots of our history uh, is, must be part of point of view if we try to discuss about gender, you know, if we try to discuss about gender. And it is th this discussion is also a wonderful discussion to make us to get a uh, reference back to the roots of our uh, culture. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you, Mas Garin. Uh, ya, so, jadi di sejarah keraton memang yes. ada periode yang penari laki-laki, yang menari harus laki-laki untuk perempuan. Bahkan ketika modernity datang, perempuan harus nari, terjadi shock culture. Kayak tadi Arjuna tadi, Arjuna, itu sampai sekarang masih ditarikan laki-laki. Hmm. Dalam wayang orang. Nah, dan paling the funny thing, unique thing in wayang orang Indonesia, all the, the hero is al, selalu feminine sifatnya. Always feminine. All the hero in the wayang. Majority people have the power or superhero lah, it's like, like Arjuna, uh, uh, Yudhistira, itu selalu feminine sifatnya. Itu, uh, this is the sample, yeah. the unique thing in Wayang in Indonesia. How does this movie be um, inspirational to the young generation, especially the LGBT community, with no relation to the arts that depict in the movie? including it yourself, I mean, if, including if you are not an artist, how this movie can be inspirational to the LGBT community? Mungkin Mas Dede mau jawab atau Mas Garin? Mas dulu ya, Mas Dede dulu. Mas Dede dulu. Film seperti ini sangat di oleh orang muda. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, when this movie 
available in the in the in the on the big screen and was not by the and, and and their uh, friends. Uh, it did um, a lot of young people, whether they're gay, lesbian, queer, or whatever, or not. Uh, they were interested because uh, um, well, it was because it's Masgari. Uh, you know, oh wow, you know, this is, this is a movie by Mascarin. They also like the idea of you know, non binary and you know, looking at Langer. And I think Langer, in the, uh, in the uh, among activists, the LGBTQ activists, uh, was discovered, I think, around 2010 or something. And, you know, Langer, Lan, and things like that. Uh, Knowledge that young people actually uh, appreciate. I have actually an anecdotal example. I have a friend, uh, time was in, he's from Ponor. Thought the movie would be about Wang and Gamlaan only. He's gay. Um, and actually watched the movie in Pongo. No protest in Pongo. Yeah. Uh, so, interest. Uh, um, you know, I mean, uh, that's why I, I said earlier that, um, yes, of course, it's important to do studies and dissertations. Uh, sorry, Masputu, don't, don't, don't just be discouraged. <laughs> um, but at the end of the day, the, the important thing is to get it to the public uh, in an in a, in a entertaining way, you know, and, and this film uh, uh, is part That's that's my. Mas Garin mau okay. uh, diterusin? Ya, yeah, uh, jadi uh, I had seen about uh, 15 uh, film related with the issue of the gender, focus on LGBT, and of course with the different angle and perspective. But majority, uh, the point of view is middle class up, dari kelas atas, mm. dan musik musik pop, the pop culture and uh, diva and socialita like that. Uh, but when I make research with uh, Rianto, then I can see that the issue of masculine feminine must be developed in the, another perspective also. Because I can see uh, everyday life of Rianto is part of everyday life in the village of Rianto, for example. <laughs> everyday life like that. And then my idea is very simple. Bring the everyday life, that part of life, part of humanity in the film. And the interesting thing of the case of Memories of My Body is even banned by five districts in Indonesia. So many community in Indonesia is asked to screening this film. Even so many community of Muslim asked to screening this film. And it means the importance of this film is that the LGBT pass a part of humanity, part of everyday life. And the second perspective, that all the young people in the pop culture that understand they have the history, part of the history of this country, Indonesian country, about the gender. And they ask so many questions about Reok, about Langer. Then they also try to develop the new reference that maybe they didn't have time to back to the root of the story. It is why this film is very important. And why this film is also get the award from the diversity culture from the UNESCO, for example. Because the, from the UNESCO perspective, this film can bring discussion in another perspective about art and everyday life, the, uh, not only middle class up, but also low class up, that they didn't still have the film or the medium to talk about this issue. It is why also, uh, uh, for example, this film screening in India, in many countries, after showing this film, and they say, this is our life. This is our history. 
when the film finished, they will they say to me, "Thank you." We ne we didn't have medium to discuss about the gender, masculine, feminine, even with my history. You know, and this film bring us. This is my history. This is my life. This is in India for so many audience come to see this memories of uh, my body, for example. Um, the question is, since the, cons since the conservatism been growing in Indonesia and this, move, and this movie is controversial to be shown, how does this movie affect to the village and people in Banyumas? How did they react? Herianto itu. Thank you. I, I just smile because uh, when I uh, when I ask about uh, actually to my head of the my regional in Banyumas, uh, I ask the first I ask about my festival, Kendali uh, Sada Art Festival. How how uh, I I ask because he, he promised to giving the funding uh, for the my festival, but Uh, for two years, it never happened. Then I just try again to ask him, and then he just answered, "Rianto, you, uh, what I can say about your movie? All the ulama uh, asking to me, something like this." And then I said, "You," <laughs> and and then I said to him, uh, "Did you did you watch the movie?" No, I. Uh, eh, uh, he 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 not answer yet. Until today, after that, because uh, so even in Banyumas screening only two days. That is in the afternoon in the cinema. After that, this never happened. Then also in Banyumas, uh, I really really want to have some uh, screening to the Banyumas community actually, but uh, no have sense yet uh, because even I'm make a festival in my village. Uh, some of the radical communities coming to my festival to watch, and then I ask, okay, you you want to come in, uh, join with us? It's just like this, standing up like this, and then if you don't want to, then it's okay, you can go, leave it. <laughs> and then I just ask him to you, if you can join as an audience here to watch. <laughs> uh, that is for the uh, Banyumas community people, Yeah, somehow uh, radical community. Yeah. So that's why I'm uh, actually a lot of the people asking to me to uh, please uh, screening and inform in in Banyumas, but still uh, I just take time to make uh, some good timing for that. And uh, for the Banyumas community, even my my family watched this movie just crying and then uh, another friends also just just crying for this movie from the banyumas especially and then the from the langer community of langer lana also they are very proud of uh, because uh, merasa sudah diangkat ke permukaan uh, apa untuk diinformasikan Uh, kepada khalayak bahwa ada lengger lanang seperti ini kehidupannya seperti ini gitu dan mereka sangat bangga dan senang walaupun uh, even that is a lot of cibiran uh, uh, as a uh, because they don't know uh, as a lengger dancer as a male lengger dancer is uh, after they dancing as a lengger dan and then they just going to the uh, going back home and then just going up uh, apa as a as a masculine person seperti bapak rumah tangga ataupun dia kadang manjat pohon dan lain sebagainya sebagai aktivitas biasa orang-orang penari lengger lanang jadi uh, because they don't know the life of the personal uh, daily life of the lengger lanang dancer so in this movie memang sangat sederhana sekali dengan kehidupan desa Yeah, Mas Lutfi masih ada lagi. Are we going back to Mas Greg? Yeah, uh, Mas Greg. Okay, terima kasih. Thank, thank you. So, so this question is. Bentar, Mas hmm? Greg. Mas Lutfi di cancel spotlightnya, spotlightnya Mas Kianto. <laughs> so, 
So uh, again, congratulations for Mas Karin and Mas Rianto for this beautiful movie. And then it is very eye-opening. It is not only revealed that LGBTIQ exists, but it's also, uh, it, uh, it's, it's also, it has been part of Indonesian culture. So the question is, um, how, how, how do you plan to continue to show this movie to Indonesian audience? who are curious about it, All right? And the first one, and the, the second question is, why did you choose uh, specific scenes for the trailer? Because on trailer, you, you, uh, there are some specific scenes. So which, why, why did you choose those? Okay, thank you, Mas. Uh -huh. uh, of course, until now, it's surprising that, the, that still so many community ask to screening this film and still so many discussion even in the area that the head of district is banned this film still so many until now with the memories of uh, my body and it is surprising me uh, uh, this is why i always push that film can screening in every places and every area in indonesia even it is the the area that the head district is uh, pen the film, you know. I think this film will be more, more, more and more screening because we can discuss in so many perspectives uh, about film, about gender, about art, about everyday life in in uh, feel it, and also about how the body is traveling from one place to another place, like the body traveling of Rianto, for example and also discussion about uh, Langer and another perspective of uh, LGBT in art like that. The, the second question is about the, what is the second question? It is um, the, on the trailer. Yes. So you had a specific scenes. Why, why did okay. you choose those? Yes. To be honest, uh, I, I always make a sensitive film. Okay. <laughs> The, 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 my, my strategy, I don't want to become a hero. But the important, film, important thing that the film can screening and the issue can discuss and develop the major so, uh, civil society. If we can discuss the sensitive issue that the civil society develop more mature and mature. Jadi civil society lebih dewasa dan lebih dewasa dengan sensitive issue. This is why I choose several uh, scene in trailer, not so sensitive. This is the strategy. Because if uh, I, even people can uh, know with the image of the trailer that this is more LGBT film. But I didn't want to put the, what you call, the keras issue, the, hot, uh, the scene that uh, represent clearly about that, you know. Uh, because, you know, in the media social, mass judge, yeah, mass judge uh, pengadilan masa sangat besar sekali di media masa, ya. Yeah. Masuk ke rumah, masuk ke keluarga, yeah. and the, my family, okay. like that, like that, you know. But all my film I have, I always experience like that when I make the mata tertutup upon the NEE, National Islam Indonesia, ada ancaman uh, they was up to kill or send bomb like that. <laughs> it is why as a filmmaker, the important, the important thing is that film can present to the public and develop a discussion but the strategy to develop a major society, civil society. And I think this is my, my goal, you know. And I am so happy now. Even five district paint uh, the film, Festival Film Indonesia give the award. The award is not the important thing, no. But the award of Festival Film Indonesia as best film and best director represent that they mengakui, ignore, about what you call LGBT is part of our life and part of our history. This is the important thing that we also need a strategy uh, with, with the wisdom 
uh, and courage, wisdom and courage, and with the perspective of uh, pengetahuan, science and craft, that uh, we can say no to the violent perspective uh, and develop the more and more appreciation with this issue. I think this is the important thing. Until now, so many, even so many tests about this film, so many. Until now, about nine tests about this film. One more from my student, Mas Karin. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, one more student. It just means it's, it's one of the, I'm so happy with that kind of uh, development and progress with this film. Um, so, so what do you think is the biggest issue for LGBT in Indonesia right now? And then uh, discriminations, self-acceptance, or others? Yeah, and I'll, I'll, I'll try to be brief, yeah? Um, yeah. And the people are interested there, are, I mean, I, uh, uh, they, they can email me because there are uh, a few articles lately that have been published uh, academically uh, on this issue. But the uh, bottom line is that I think the biggest issue is the family. So uh, what uh, you know, Julia Kusuma calls the Ibuis Managara is still alive. And now it has a Muslim or Christian, uh, whatever, uh, uh, shroud as well, or whatever. Uh, it's basically, I mean, you know, the, the, the very common a uh, question uh, to young people in Indonesia, and not so young people in Indonesia, Kapan nikah? <laughs> <laughs> that ignores people who don't want to get married, including heterosexuals who want to be, I don't know, just, you know, uh, in a relationship without marriage. Or, uh, you know, I mean, there are people who are asexual. So these are all currents that are happening in Indonesia. It's a child-free movement. So my point is that it's the family. So I mean, you know, uh, it's, 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 the, it's the scariest. The FBA is not so scary because, well, you know, if, it's, if you're somebody like Master Garden, you have to face it directly. But if you're some, you know, some lesbian, young lesbian in a, in a family, it's mom and dad and the keluarga besar. Uh, I like to know yeah, yeah, uh, with the bupati, with the calon bupati, yeah. Yeah. Uh, bupati. So it is so disempowered keluarga besar. You have to think about fifty people, you know. I was like, ah. I'm, I'm a bit lucky that my parents uh, are not very sociable, <laughs> so I don't have to, you know. But many people have to think of that, and Idul Fitri is scariest for. Uh, Muslim, young Muslim LGBT, because you know, mana ceweknya, mana cowoknya, gosh, and it's like, yeah. So that's that's the bottom line. I mean, of course, there's the state and the law and everything, uh, but we all we're, we're working on that, um, and I'm sure you know, um, there's an increasing body of of people, a group of people, you know, um, who will eventually. Uh, prevail, I'm sure, but it takes time. Is there any women, female, that dance a male character in Javanese dance? So, yeah, male that dance. And another question, uh, still related uh, mm -hmm. are ma uh, males? laki-laki orang laki-laki mm -hmm. who yang sering menarikan tarian perempuan who who dance Indonesian's mm. character dancer uh, will be the feminine uh, influence will be you know they 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 get influence in their daily activities uh, in is for example in Cirebon in Cirebon they have uh, top pink Cirebon is always female doing uh, male character as a klana Klana is very strong uh, character as a male male movement, very very strong. Uh, who is playing is only the female doing that. That is in Cirebon uh, uh, area, like a Losari, Cirebon, Indramayu. In Banyumas, the performance of the Langer 
the female doing male in the some part of the uh, scene uh, because the langer dance is a uh, 24 hours it's a, a, like a one day but in the midnight uh, she changes from uh, from the female because now generation is already changing to the female and then uh, in the midnight she changes as male uh, character and then make up as a male and then dancing as male we call bala dewa bala dewa dance and also uh, Uda Kepang. So in the midnight, especially they just uh, playing this very, very masculine. Then in the, almost in the morning, uh, they're playing as a Uda Kepang. So it's from the female dancing, the female dance, and then male, and then tends to the female again, and then tends to the uh, male again. The last is the becoming male and then changing. That is in the Langer dance uh, performance in the one day performance. Uh, one dancer can be a uh, different character. And uh, when the Langer dancer, what I do as a, as a Langer dancer, uh, like a cross gender dancing, and also with the Langer Lanang community, in daily life, uh, for me, it's just like uh, usually people, normal, uh, when they, uh, after the dance, and then they're just walking in the, in the farm, and also as a makeup artist, and also as a, like me, like this, I'm doing the contemporary dance also, and uh, somehow uh, some people also working in the uh, penjahit, tailor. Uh, so it's in the, in the daily life, the represent as the just human. I didn't want to uh, like becoming ah this is too feminine ah this is too masculine or just like I see that is the body just life of the body. The people, for maybe from the community perspective, they just like ah this is too feminine yeah the body is too feminine, uh, uh, and then when they just dancing is more, but when they going out. Uh, from the dancing after the dancing, still uh, feminine. That is also some some uh, uh, dancer like that. Yeah, but also it's not all not always not always. Masrianto, one more thing. Can you just let everybody know? Um, uh, uh, well, let me say this. We have raised total of one thousand dollars. So yay. Oh, um, thank you. If you still want to donate, please, please still donate through PayPal to Modero's PayPal to Cinta at modero.co. So it's not com. Um, you can still do that, and then we'll try to um, get all the donation to Masrianto um, by next week. But Masrianto, can you tell us a little bit what is the money for? I think it's best to hear it from you. Yeah. Uh, I have a big community in the village of the artists uh, who have, uh, uh, because the COVID-19 of the corona, they don't walk. And then they just like in the village, some, some people doesn't have a phone also, because that is already all the people playing the gamelan uh, calung. And then also as the Banyumas community, as a Langer dancer, as a maestro, who doesn't uh, know about uh, her or him? Uh, like, like uh, the family of the Daria also still have to keep alive. And then the another maestro and uh, in Banyuma, uh, musician uh, in the village, all the like uh, seventy years up. <laughs> and but also they have a. Uda Kepang community also is just stop the, the perform because uh, in Banyumas Regional now is just uh, stop activity for the uh, is already PSBB uh, so the people in the village doesn't they cannot move from from the uh, the walk so uh, I really really understand because when I make uh, the festival every year in in Banyumas, 
typical uh, Kendali Sada Art Festival is uh, about uh, a thousand uh, audience, more than a thousand audience, and then more than a uh, hundred to hundred uh, artists is coming, and then I invite from the uh, different village also in several uh, village from Banyumas. Then they just uh, very old people, so the old community, and then uh, I just want to support them to still continue the make the music with the uh, recording, and then I give the uh, sembako, but you have to play the music, and then but you have to uh, dancing, and then I just giving the sembako or like uh, money. It's already 150. The, the more than 150 kepala keluarga yang uh, yang sudah terkumpul KTP-nya dan itu hampir setiap uh, minggu itu uh, almost every week they just sending me the ID uh, what the, or uh, I need the help or something like this so it's just okay uh, please waiting until I so I doing what I can do for this uh, situation because I'm in Japan, so I have a team in, in Banyumas for, for helping them also. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mas Rianto. Um, so 150,000 rupees is probably only about $10. And then that's what we are um, helping for each of the family, for 150 families that uh, Mas Rianto is helping. So it's not much, so consider that. Um, even if you donate a dollar um, through uh, our group, that still means a lot to them. Um, so please think about it, um, share the link, um, and then we'll also be sending um, the donation report. So um, your name will be listed unless you don't want to. Um, we wanna make sure that everything is transparent, that 100% um, of the proceed of the suggested donation tickets for the film and also the three days workshop, dance workshop with Masrianto all goes to um, for this cause. So thank you so much. Thank you, Mas Garin. Thank you. Um, thank you, Mas Dede, Masrianto.